Hey, everybody, this is Uncle Rock. Just reminding you to like, share, and subscribe to the Game of Gauntlet channel. Even though it's run by this nigga. What's up, what's up, gamers? It's your boy Shazam coming back at you with another one. So, right now we're going to be talking top 10 Xbox 360 games. So, I'm going to give you my top 10. This is an epic lineup. It's a lot to talk about. Let's go ahead and get to it. So, number 10, we got Saints Row coming in strong. Saints Row was an incredible game. Uh... When it first came out for the Xbox, it just was one of those mind-blowing things like, wow, this is what gaming looks like right now. It was one of those things. It definitely answered the call as far as delivering uh, epicness to the fans. I feel like uh, it, was, it was a fun game, great times. Uh, the game thing, all of that was just a good time, good game. You could create your own character. You making your own name for yourself. You putting in that work, and it was a damn good time doing it. Number nine, we're gonna go with NBA 2K13. So this game was off the chain. Uh, one of the first 2Ks with a multi-cover athlete uh, for the cover, multi-athlete cover. Excuse me, multi-athlete cover on 2K13. Also. Uh, the mob player mode, total upgraded. And then you, to go a step further, you can play the, uh, my career mode with, the my career mode, my player with, pick anybody almost in NBA history. You can pick legends. You can pick Wilt Chamberlain, Allen Iverson, Ray Allen, Michael Jordan from whichever championship run, Kobe Bryant, Steph Curry. You have a whole list of, Players past and present to pick from, and you can run their entire, uh, run an entire career with them, where you're just player locked as Michael Jordan or whichever favorite player you choose, and you can run a career with them. It was just epic. Uh, that game was very epic, and it was very fun competing too, uh, even locally. So, number eight, we're gonna go with Fable Three. Fable 3 was an incredible game. Uh, it was the third installment to the Fable series, but it was a very solid game. Uh, you're a lot more ahead in the story, so you just get right to it. Uh, you're the prince or whatever, and the kingdom lives or dies depending on your decisions. So you pretty much can do what you want. You can go be a villain. You can go be a gigolo. <laughs> you can go be a millionaire. You can go be a hero. You go do whatever you want. You go own property. You go get 10 women and have 20 children. You do whatever you want. Very fun game, entertaining, amazing, beautiful game. Number seven, we're gonna go with NBA Street Home Court. Um, this is another uh, part of the continuation of the NBA Street Series. A damn good part of the continuation. It is very incredible. A uh, whole lot of action, a whole lot to do. A very fun story. Uh, incredible game. At number six, I'm going to go with Madden 25. Madden 25 was one of those games where you could pick a legend and do the career mode as well in football. So uh, you could pick Tom Brady, Barry Sanders, Deion Sanders, uh, Emmitt Smith, Adrian Peterson, Reggie Bush, whatever, you know, go do a whole career mode with them. Number six, I'm going to go with NCAA football 2013. I don't want to keep beating a dead horse, but this was also one of the last times where they made the, you pick your legend and do a whole career mode with them. Win the championship, win MVP, Heisman, all that good stuff, first team All-American. Create your own character if you want. Uh, go all the way. Uh, that's it's, it's a little more common than what it used to be, but 
these are the first times such features were added. There's still not many football games and stuff where you can pick any player and just do a whole career mode with these days, though. So number four, I'm going to go with Family Guy. Family Guy is an awesome game. Uh, awesome, awesome, awesome game. Uh, you got an incredibly hilarious story mode. You got a very uh, entertaining multiplayer mode. Uh, you got survival modes and all this good stuff where if you're a Family Guy fan, it's just a big treat uh, spending time getting in on, on that one. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to go with Family Guy number four. Number three, I'm going to go with Mortal Kombat versus DC Universe. Uh, around that time, uh, that's just a big treat to the fans to have such a game where you got characters such as Batman versus Sub-Zero. This is one of the first games where you see these type of dream scenario matchups. You got Superman versus Scorpion, stuff like that, like Wonder Woman versus Katana or something like that. You got your boy Shazam out there. Yeah, you know I mean, Shazam out there putting that work. You know what I mean, Shazam, baby. You know how it go. You got your boy Shazam out there too. You know what I'm saying, getting it in out there, man, with the legends of the DC universe and Mortal Kombat. So yeah, Mortal Kombat versus DC, and it had its own unique fighting systems and uh, stuff that they incorporated to give the game its own unique feel and uh, stuff like that. Uh, you know, of course, we wish there could be sequels to these type of things. Don't always work out like that. But for what they gave us, a big treat, big blessing. Salute. Mortal Kombat vs. DC coming in at number three. Number two. I'm going to go with Call of Duty World War II, the original, uh, on there. And I don't know if that's the first time zombies were incorporated, but I think it might be the first time zombies were incorporated on a Call of Duty game. Uh, Y'all can holler at me in the comments, gamers, if I'm off about that. But I think that might be the first uh, Call of Duty with zombies on it. It had a mode on there called Hell. It wasn't even called Zombies yet. It was called Hell. But that game there was an incredible game. The story mode was World War Three. You're trying to overthrow Hitler, trying to take out Hitler, blah, blah, blah. That was the storyline. And then uh, multiplayer mode was brilliant, incredible, very fun, very entertaining. Then, like I say, that was the first edition of the mode hell that we know today as zombies. Um, and I think you had to beat the story mode, too, if I'm not mistaken, before you even unlocked hell mode. So, yeah, I just remember some of those things along that lines. If I'm wrong, gamers, feel free to holler at me in the comments. We try and get it right. You don't got to kill me if I'm wrong. But, yeah, holler at me in the comments. Uh, number one. My number one game for Xbox 360, I'm going to go with Marvel Ultimate Alliance 2. Uh, incredible, fun game. Uh, one of those games you just love to put in some work on if you're bored. If you got the homies around, you know, y'all just chilling. You know what I'm saying? Everybody just cooling. But at the same time, you don't mind putting in some work. It's just a fun game to get on and kick some ass, blow off some steam, pause. Just turn up. You you got a lot of characters to choose from. You got Wolverine, Storm, Deadpool, Spider Man, Captain America, Iron Man. Uh, it's not a, the craziest large lineup, but it's a it's a very cool lineup where uh, you just pick pick characters you want. Four players playing, running around, causing chaos. We can have it, kicking butt, taking names in the Marvel universe. And on top of that, you're pretty much making your own destiny as well. So you can be, you know, hero, villain, whatever, vigilante. You pick your fate on that. But yeah, that's my list of Xbox 360 games, gauntlers. And uh, it's been nice to see y'all again. Y'all check back in with your boy next time. It's Shazam hollering at you. See you later. Next time on Gamer Gauntlet. Like and subscribe.